The printing press was a revolutionary device invented by German inventor Johannes Gutenberg in the 1440s. The printing press contributed to the Protestant Reformation and helped widespread the production of literature throughout the world. The printing press has a frame made out of wood. It works by aligning wooden blocks into words and sentences, covering them in ink, and pressing them down onto pieces of parchment to transfer the ink. Later on in the course of history, Gutenberg came up with blocks made out of alloy and metal so that they would last longer. The wooden blocks have been carved away on one side, so that they have a letter sticking out of it. Then, a layer of ink is painted onto the blocks, and they are lined up on the printing press to form words and sentences. Before Gutenberg invented the printing press, most writers used water-based ink. Gutenberg invented an oil-based ink to go along with the printing press. This is a demonstration of how the Gutenberg printing press works from the Crandall Historical Printing Museum. These little points called duck bills position it up and down. And then the mark left and right here. Now watch this, these pins poke through the paper. And when he prints on the other side, he puts the paper back on through those same holes. And that gives him perfect alignment between the front and the back. It's still mm -hmm. basically the same system that's used on printing presses even today, pen register. Now the frisket comes down to hold the paper against the tympan. It's cut out there where we're going to print. It also allows us to lift that paper back up off that sticky type without smearing it or tearing it because it's damp. So now we're ready to fold the button out of the press under the platen. The next thing that happens... The printing press was one of the big reasons why the Protestant Reformation was so successful. When Martin Luther wrote his 95 Theses, the church initially rejected it because of the information that was in the Theses. Gutenberg was able to use his printing press to make many copies of the Theses and spread them around the country. This widely contributed to the success of the Protestant Reformation. Using the printing press to make copies of the theses was so much more efficient and effective than handwriting copies of the 95 theses. If the efficiency of the printing press had not been utilized, the Protestant Reformation would not have been as effective as it was. The printing press was not the biggest thing to come out of the Reformation, but it certainly helped and has affected the modern world that we live in today. The printing press has made many contributions to history. Since being invented in 1440 by Johannes Gutenberg, it has helped bring education back coming out of the Middle Ages and has contributed to the success of the Protestant Reformation. The first official book that was printed with the printing press was the Gutenberg Bible in 1524. The typograph could produce 40 to 50 copies a day and the earliest version of the printing press could produce around 3,600 copies per day. By the 1500s, there had been more than 20 million volumes of text that had been printed using the printing press. <laughs>